हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अंकित एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हियर विथ माय वीकली एनालिसिस एंड प्रिडिक्शन फॉर गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर एंड लास्ट वीक एज आई सेड वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट बोथ गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर टू कंटिन्यू द रैली कंटिन्यू द राइज एंड दैट इज व्हाट एग्जैक्टली एज हैपन गोल्ड कॉन्सोलिडेटेड थ्रू आउट द वीक एंड टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द वीक इट्स अ वेरी गुड राइज taking it towards 1860 and 2380 levels uh, for gold and silver respectively now what will happen next week now major factors coming into picture that markets global markets are weak uh, bond yields are rising indicating that people may divert some funds to these safe instruments which are still considered as safe so hence we have seen a good rise also the geopolitical tensions rising the inflation rising indicating that probably on the macroeconomic funds the indicators are now bullish on metals and we did expect this from the chart itself last week as i said i had told that we are going to look into a bull run on gold and silver those who watched definitely would have profited also my daily analysis which i share very early in the session early in the day with the asia session uh a specific video which includes gold and silver and crude oil natural gas besides the global indicates indices definitely helps you out in your day trading decisions so do like share subscribe and comment do press the bell icon and stay tuned till the last we are going to look at first gold with the help of candlestick charts and indicators and i am going to give you the trading levels and then we can see the charts for silver so let's start with gold first now this is the daily charts for gold you can eliminate this candle now look at this see this is the breakout here it has got its support at 1820 first it has made a support at 1810 and before that there was a support at 1790 you can clearly see after every 10 20 points it is trying to consolidate and showing a rise now also we must see the breakout or the rise here the rise was almost uh, 10 points now from here the support at around 1813 it has taken a rise of 30 points so 10 20 30 is that is the gap it is trying to form that is the pattern it is trying to say now look at this let's come back to the uh, i will show something on my daily charts weekly charts which i shared across last week also that the channel now look at this higher lows this was the channel this is a breakout candle and if it continues beyond this breakout on the near term charts definitely you can expect it to rise higher towards 1900 plus plus levels now there is a stronger resistance coming into picture here at around 1870 so once it breaks 1870 definitely it will fly higher and that is what you can ignore this now it has also seen higher highs on this continuing in this channel looking forward to 1870 now once 1870 1872 is taken definitely it will rise high so this is what we can see on the daily charts and also on the near term we have seen let me show you something here so since here where the drop was below 1700 levels we have seen higher lows and you can see couple of breakout also but largely remaining in this channel so this was the breakout this was the breakout but still it is trying to remain within this channel now the high is at around 1870 1872 levels beyond this definitely it will try to break again towards the zone at 1880 and 1900 plus plus levels now this is one expectation this is one of the observation on the daily charts also look at this it is precisely now this was the trend now look at this it was precisely trading within this zone since long here that is between 18 uh 50 to you can say 1750 zone it is trading with, it is trading between this zone since long now this is showing a convincing move on the upside also you can see one high has been taken second high is already seen now either it tries to probably form this and break beyond so this is one probability or else it may try to retrace back from this forming lower highs now why i say lower highs you can see here there were couple of breakouts previously also but it failed to sustain those levels 
सो इफ इट ब्रेक्स बियॉन्ड दिस जोन एट एटीन सिक्सटी वन डेफिनेटली वन कैन गो लॉन्ग फॉर एटीन सेवेंटी एंड बियॉन्ड दैट डेफिनेटली इट विल फ्लाई फॉर एटीन नाइनटी एंड नाइनटीन हंड्रेड प्लस प्लस लेवल्स सो दिस इज ऑन द डेली चार्ज लव लेट्स हैव ए लुक एट द वीकली चार्ट नाउ इंटरेस्टिंगली दिस इज द ब्रेक आउट ऑन द वीकली चार्ट यू कैन सी हेयर this was the channel in which it was trading since long this was a long term channel in which it was trading higher lower high is it what it is trying to form every time it try to form a rally it is try to uh, hit this zone and again drop back so i will be expecting only once it breaks rather i will recommend that you can go long at 1865 you can remain long beyond this and it will definitely try to hit 1900 plus plus levels at least forming a double top there or beyond that also it will fly because it is coming out of this zone definitely it is a good indication that it is, one can remain bullish on gold now look at the near term weekly charts on the weekly charts you can say this was trading between 18 1750 to 1850 level it is given a breakout any candle green candle now will definitely try to take it towards 1900 plus plus levels and one can remain bullish beyond 1865 levels you can expect it to hit 1883 1891 1900 five levels on the weekly charts also on the near term now let's have a look at the near term lower highs is what we can see breakout is what we can see now you have it has got a support at 1791 levels once it breaks 1790 then only i will expect it to turn bearish hence it is concluded or it can be expected that we may see 1900 plus plus levels on gold this week now let's have a look at the monthly charts on the monthly charts it appears that the high for the month is almost done but you can see here uh, the previous candle 1750 to 1840 levels 1835 levels almost 85 points of move but looking from the base almost 1780 to 1835 almost 55 points now if you look at 1800 to 1855 so this high is done on the monthly chart that is what it appears but this time the candle size has to be bigger it has to be big because you can see this the smaller candle here then a bigger candle has to follow and hence you can expect that this month in the month of february you can definitely expect it to hit 1900 plus plus levels in fact it will try to break this resistance at 1900 1020 and can go higher towards 1935 plus plus levels and that is indicative that we can remain bullish also look at this on the monthly charts you can see 1790 levels has definitely provided a support it will remain the support so as i said once it breaks 1865 you can go long and then for the rest of the week one can remain long with the stop loss at 1836 levels and you can expect it to hit 1900 plus plus levels in the week this week itself now let's have a look at the indicators indicators on the daily charts this is the 2050 100 moving average now all have consolidated somewhere between 1820 to 1810 this zone at 1820 to 18 zone 10 is a very strong support only short is recommended below this zone as till the time it remains above 1820 definitely one can remain long one can expect it to rise but also we should see that this is trading at the extremes of the bollinger bands and hence it may try to get a little resistance here and can fall back again towards 1836 before trying to take a rise and that is why i say only long i will say beyond 1865 and 1873 specifically uh, is something we can remain long on the daily charts and now also let's have a look at the th th the tended price oscillator again enter into a bull zone probably it can extend this greener candle here also look at this there is a divergence on the directional movement clearly indicating that this is bullish now stochastic the only concern point is the stochastic which is overbought so what can be expected probably next couple of days we may see it trading between 1860 or 1870 to 
एटीन थर्टी थ्री थर्टी फाइव लेवल्स इट कैन रिट्रेस अ बीट कूल डाउन द इंडिकेटर्स हियर एंड देन इट इज फॉलोड विद राइज दैट इज द एक्सपेक्टेशन सपोर्ट लेवल्स एटीन थर्टी सिक्स एंड एटीन ट्वेंटी टू वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सपोर्ट एनी ड्रॉप बिलो दिस लेवल्स इज ओनली एन इंडिकेशन दैट इट इज गोइंग टू ड्रॉप सीवियरली एल्स इट कैन सस्टेन द ओवर बॉट लेवल्स लुक एट द मैगडी हैज जस्ट क्रॉस ओवर एंड आफ्टर दिस क्रॉस ओवर वी आर सींग दिस एंड इट विल कंटिन्यू विद द ग्रीनर कैंडल्स इन द कमिंग डेज आर एस आई इज एंट्रिंग इन टू ओवर बॉट पोजिशन मे कंटिन्यू हेयर एंड देन अ ब्रेक और ड्रॉप इज सर्टेन वेयर वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट इट टू ड्रॉप अ लिटिल बिफोर इट रिज्यूम्स द राइज ऑल्सो सो कंसिडरिंग दिस लेट मी जम्प टू द लेवल्स now for the week you can go long at 1865 and it will try to hit 1873 now here at 1873 it can find a little resistance it can reverse from here then the next target is 1881 may beyond 1873 i will i will expect that it is definitely going to hit 1897 and 1903 so beyond 1903 1915 can be expected and beyond that sky is the limit but because a couple of indicators on the daily charts are little overbought hence it may try to cool down a bit also either uh, i have got couple of options here point number 1 that for next Two to three days, it shows a very strong breakout, taking it towards nineteen fifty and nineteen thirty levels. Now, couple of options that it gives you a strong rise for next two to three days, and then if it drops, anyways, it is going not going to drop till below nineteen hundred, and then the indicators are cooled down. So, whatever happens next two days, we may see a strong rise. and taking it beyond 1900 then may retrace a bit towards the end of the week one probability or it can happen the other way also it can drop till towards 1836 35 or in fact 1825 or 1820 levels and from there we may see a stronger rise again towards the end of the week taking it towards 1900 plus plus levels this is also one of the probabilities so only short i will recommend is below 1818 now once it breaks 1818 i will expect it to drop towards 1808 and once it drops below 1808 you can expect it to drop towards 1790 here it has got its support and below that this is going to be a sky fall and we can see 1760 and below levels i ex i doubt that this is going to happen very less chances very less probability but uh, yes nothing can be denied on the markets front also in between this you had got several support 1821 1833 1837 and 1847 so these are the support levels in between you can try to take a swing or if you see it bouncing if it drops and you see it bouncing from any of these levels you can take a long entry but a certain long entry is only beyond 1873 1865 zone so take your positions accordingly now let's move towards silver silver on the daily charts interesting pattern to follow here uh, on the daily charts ignore this candle first it has achieved lows it it has achieved and it failed to go past this previous high here that is one observation so yes a uh, probable as i said several times before 2365 and a uh, 2380 these are the couple of resistance zone for silver breaking out beyond 2380 definitely you will see it hitting 2460 plus plus levels also this is this indication is if it breaks this here at 2380 definitely will be a good indication that it is time to go long on silver one more observation it has formed a base here see it has consolidated in this zone between 2250 2260 i said it is going to break out it did broke out a smaller uh, a breakout candle 
now consolidated in this zone now if it gives you a breakout here beyond 2365 2380 definitely that is going to give you a stronger green candle so this is one observation on silver on the daily charts also look at this higher highs is what we can see it tried to break out but failing to do so now the support level is 2280 definitely there very strong support beyond that also we must not forget the next high of this channel in fact if it is a narrowing channel it is may try to hit 24 uh, 40 24 20 and 24 40 levels before trying to decide which direction to go but yes this appears that this level at 24 20 and 24 40 can be expected now look at the weekly charts on the weekly charts uh I had told many a times 2200 very strong support it has taken 2200 as a support last week also showing the reversal here now this is the second candle after the reversal and a short entry is recommended only below 2260 once it breaks below or rather I will say 2300 once it breaks below 2300 you can take a short entry there and also look at this here on the uh, near time frame you can see here let me draw it uh, with little more accuracy here you can see here this zone at 2420 will provide a resistance once it breaks 2420 nobody will stop it till 2500 and 2600 zone 2550 and 2600 zone mark my words once it breaks 2420 nobody will stop it to go till towards this zone also this is going to be a second green candle so if it can try to give you a greener candle which may be an extension of this taking it towards 2550 levels a probable bullish move can be expected and which could be the extension of this so this is what we can see here on the silver chart definitely a support at around uh, this zone at 2300 will come into picture and then below that here at 2280 will come into picture these two are very strong support levels for silver also we have seen 2340 which was the previously a stronger resistance level which will be now a stronger support so it may try to give you a breakout towards 2420 levels and then try to retest 2340 or 2360 levels as a good support so this is on the weekly charts let's have a look at the monthly charts also on the monthly charts yes 2200 is a support it is trying to trade with this support and it is trying to trade in this channel so 24 20 24 40 on the monthly yes can be expected beyond this nobody will stop it to hit 2500 and 2550 zone so probably we might see a greener candle till towards 2500 which may uh so towards the end of the february it may try to close the month at 2500 levels you can take your positions accordingly support definitely lying there at 2200 and on the upside 24 40 24 40 levels if it breaks definitely that is a stronger case to go long now let's have a look at the indicators here now indicators on the daily charts you will find now silver is trading beyond the 2050 100 moving average now all of this lying till 2300 and hence a short entry is recommended only below 2280 now once 2280 is taken you can consider this as reversal also there is a support at 2340 so 23 with the support at 2340 i'll think uh, it may try to get or bounce back here till 2340 or 2330 levels and then we may see a rise any rise beyond uh, 2365 and 2380 is a very good indication that it is going to fly high any breakout beyond 2420 2440 zone 2500 is very much certain now look at the dpo entering into buy zone but here you can see one more observation on directional movement it is trying to converge so if this crossover happens then it is going to enter into sell zone probably we may see it diverging again from here that is my expectation and uh, but yes uh, another observation it is overbought on the uh, stochastic so only if it breaks 2270 i will recommend you to go long or rather 2265 i'll recommend you to go long also look at the 
MACD has just crossed over giving it a very good bullish indication that it is going to remain bullish. RSI is very much looking upwards and it is at normal levels, comfortable levels. Considering all this, let me give you the levels here. Now we have seen the indicators, we have seen the charts. So you can expect a, a long entry beyond 23.65 is recommended. Nearest resistance at 23.73 and 23.85. So once it breaks out of this, definitely it's a clear case. It is going to hit 24.20, 24.40. And once it breaks this zone at 24.40, you can expect 24.80. 2500 and 2550 on cards on silver so towards the end of the month it can try to go till towards 2500 on the downside only short entry i will request or recommend is below 2280 now this is far away yes i know this is far away but yes when you are bullish i will try to give you a uh, as far as possible in between these 80 points there is a support at 2340 for silver once it breaks 2340 it will try to in fact hit 2320 these two are very strong support for silver only below this you can expect it to hit 2280 this is going to be the strongest support below this anyways it is going to hit towards 2200 directly and below that it will head towards 2140 i will not expect this to happen even if it tries to drop here at 2340, this should get very strong support for any downward move. If it is really bullish, it may try to hit this zone at 2440 first before looking forward to any drop towards 2380 or 2365 levels. So this is all for silver from my side. Uh, do like, share, subscribe and comment. If you appreciate my effort, please share it across. Also press the bell icon so that you can stay tuned with the latest analysis. Join my telegram channel. The links are mentioned in the description. My next mentorship batch is starting on 15th of Feb. You can be part of that. First invest in yourself. First invest in learning. Then you can reap the benefits throughout the life. And yes, join my Telegram channel and reach out to me via email for any of your trading or training related queries. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading week. Thank you.